Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is going to be a special request RPG Maker MB tutorial for Maverick Lineage. And he says, any chance that I can get a plugin that makes a package that gives you 5 out of 30 items randomly? For example, from item ID 1 to 30, and we have weapons with different ranks like S, A, B, C, etc. Uh, then you can get a normal package that gives common ranked gear, items and such, but if you open a premium package, you can get high ranked items random chance of out of a pre-made pool. You don't actually need a plugin for that. I'm going to show you what I've made real quick and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So in this uh, in this item, I've made them all the same uh, just to save time, but I'm going to show you how you can make them custom and uh, have it random items. So we're going to open up this package item and it's going to run a common event that uh, rolls a, a random number from 1 to 30 and each number would be a different item. However, all five items are going to be the same since they're all programmed to be the same. One, two, three, four, five. And we've got our five items there. So let me show you how to make that common event. It's really simple, actually. Um, you have to do a loop, uh, a loop common event. So you're gonna need, you're gonna need two variables for this. Um, we've got our package here. We're gonna create a new common event. Call it a S rank package or A rank package or whatever. Once you've designed the package one time, you can copy paste it, change the name of it, and change the items that it awards, and uh, it'll still work the same. So to start off, we're gonna do a control variable. So we're gonna right click, insert new, control variables. We're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this one package distribution or package count or something like that but just call it distribution or something uh, then we're going to create a loop so we're going to right click insert new uh, on flow control on tab one we're going to click loop and that's going to open up a loop um, after that we're going to do a conditional statement with uh, an else handler so we're going to insert new uh, conditional branch and we're going to select check else handler we're going to go to variable and we're going to select that uh, variable that we just created package distribution and what we're gonna do is say this number is gonna be less than five so when this number is less than five since you specified five items um, it's gonna do what's in the contents and then the else handler if it's if it's five or more then it's going to run uh, the else handler so let's look at the else handler first uh, before you program all the items you can go to the else handler and we're gonna insert a break loop otherwise it's gonna loop forever so um, you go to the else handler you go to flow control insert new break loop so when the variable distribution is five or more, it's going to exit the common event and then you won't have an endless loop. So within that loop, we're going to do conditional branches for each uh, item. So we're going to right click, insert new conditional branch. We're going to create a new variable. We're going to call this one package role. So um, we're going to create a new variable um, before this actually. Uh, control variables. We're going to call this one package role. So you're going to control variables, create a new variable. <clears throat> call it package role. We're going to set it to a random number between one and the number of items you want. In this case, specifying 30. And uh, that's going to roll a random number. So then we're going to say if that uh, random number, uh, if that random number roll is one, then we're going to do this. We're going to show an animation. We're going to change items and we're going to show text. So our animation is going to be uh, tab two here under character, show animation. Change items is going to be on tab one under party, change items here, and then the show text will be right there on the top. Once you've done that, um, you're going to copy this entire thing and paste it. And so it's going to say exactly the same thing. You right click and edit on the, the conditional branch and you change the one to a two. So we're going to say if that package roll is equal to two, then we're going to do this. You don't need an else handler for these. Uh, so then you would just change the item. You could probably keep the same animation. Change the text, let the player know they got a different item. You're going to copy that, paste that. Change the item, change the text, copy that, paste that. Remember, you're changing the number each time. In this case, if it's three, next time if it's four, the next time if it's five, all the way down until you've got all the items you want. Uh, and then at the very end, before you get to the else handler, this will be at the underneath the 30th uh, conditional statement here, uh, or if package roll equals 30, we're going to do another control variables. We're going to control that first variable that we created, uh, and instead of uh, setting it to a, a number this time, we're going to add one to that number. So we're going to control our package distribution, we're going to add one to it. So it's going to run the uh, common event, it's going to set that variable to zero, it's going to start a loop, it's going to check to see if that variable is less than five, and of course we just set to zero at the top, so it's going to be less than five. It's going to run this, it's going to pick a random number off the second variable, and depending on what number you get, it's going to be that what item you get. Once it awards one of these items, it's going to add one to the variable, 
uh, for package distribution. And then it's going to go back to the top where it's looping and roll another random number. For, well, before it rolls the random number, it's going to see is that number, uh, is the package distribution a five or greater? And if it isn't, it's going to roll a random number and it's going to distribute an item and then it's going to add one of that variable. It's going to do that five times and then after the it's done this five times package distribution variable is going to be a uh, five so then it's no longer going to meet the requirements for this conditional statement that says if package distribution is less than five so what's going to happen is it's going to take the else handler so it's going to go to the else handler after five times going through it and awarding five items it's going to break the loop and it's going to end the common event so that's how you would do that just, you don't need any trigger any switches you just create a common event if you wanted to make uh, like a different premium package you just copy this entire common event paste it right here and then change this to like S rank package or something like that. And uh, that's how you'd create your common events. Now, in order to call on these common events, we're going to create some items. So let's go to our items tab. We'll go and create a new uh, slot, change maximum if you have to. Call this one package or A rank package or S rank package or whatever. You'll have to probably create a, a separate package for each uh, set of random items you get. So we'll call this one A rank and the next one would be S rank. Um, give a little quick description, an icon, make it a regular item. You want to make it consumable. That way when the player uses it, the item disappears. It doesn't need any scope. You're going to probably set it to a menu screen. You could do it in battle, but uh, it won't show animations in battle unless you do uh, battle animations. But just do menu screen and make it uh, nice and easy. Um, you don't have to mess with invocation or damage, but you will go to effects. Right click on effects, go to the other, go all the way to the bottom. Select that common event that's associating with that package. So if this was the S rank package, we would uh, call in the S rank package common event. And once we've set that, when we use the item, it's going to check, uh, it's going to run that common event. And it's going to run the contents of that package. So that's it. That's all there is uh, to it. Hopefully that helped you, Maverick Lineage. Uh, if it helped anybody else, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Lets the channel grow and lets me know that uh, if you guys that you guys enjoy this sort of content. So thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you for your special request. Keep asking those questions in the comments below and we will see you in the next tutorial.